I'm here with Dan Park, the Sales Engineering Manager here at Zebra Technologies, and we're taking a close look at their latest mobile computer, the MC3300. Dan, tell me a little bit about it. Well, the MC3300 is Zebra's latest flagship product for the mid-tier market. It's really designed for um, the warehouse industry and retail industry, and it's really going to be a game changer in 2018. Now we know that Windows is moving away from that mobile operating system space and Android sort of filling that void. How does this device help organizations that are looking to migrate to an Android operating system? Yeah, that's a great question. So, uh, you know, a lot of our customers don't even realize that Windows Mobile, Windows CE are going end of support. They're already out of mainstream support. So, you know, buying Windows device today may not be the best decision for a customer. So, you know, buying an Android is obviously going to be a better choice. And we've got some features on this device that's going to make it very easy for them to transition from Windows or Windows CE or Windows Mobile to an MC3300 Android device. What are some of those features? Well, the features are obviously it's got a keyboard. As you, as you can see, a lot of our Android devices have all touch. But for, for some of our customers who want to migrate and maybe they're using a Telnet session and they've got a lot of keys, they need they know where all the buttons are. Um, this makes it a much easier transition because the keypad's still there, so they can keep the green screen Telnet as is. So the user experience is pretty much the same. They've got the hard keys, and maybe later on they can migrate the uh, the Telnet session to become a modern GUI interface. The MC3300 looks a little bit different to previous models. What are the physical changes? Well, we've made it slimmer, but um, actually it's more rugged than the previous model of the MC3200. Also, compared to the 3200, the screen's a lot bigger as well, but we've kept the keyboard. Um, now, with the 3200, we had three options as far as form factors. Now we have an extra fourth one. So the form factors are on the screen behind us. You can see there's a brick. We have the turret where the scanner can turn on top the gun form factor and we have a new form factor which is a, a scanner at a 45 degree angle for ergonomic scanning. And how's the performance changed in the device? Well all the specs have been improved as you would imagine so you know better RAM, um, better CPU, it's coming on the latest NuGuard operating system. Um, apart from that it's you know the drop specs are much better, the IP you know is 50, IP54 um, and the temperature range it, can, it works down to minus 20 degrees as well so basically everything's improved. And now accessories, because we know that people will attach some accessories. Um, how does that change in any way? Okay, so we have a new cradle, which is, gives you faster charging, so you can charge in half the time. Um, but that being said, if for customers with MC3200 devices, um, this is compatible with the old accessories. So if you've got MC32 cradles with a little adapter, you can use the same accessories with the new device. And the life of the device, what does is, what is Zebra support like? Uh, yeah, it's a great question. So um, this is a five year, a five by five we call it. So five year sales cycle and then five year service after that. So across that time, we provide security patches. And that's, that's an important part because if you stop getting patches, you really should think about pulling the devices from the field. So the entire sales cycle of five years, we provide security patches as long as you've got Zebra One Care. And even after end of sale for two years, we continue providing security patches. So that's seven years of patches free when you've got Zebra One Care, and after that, if you want to keep it in the in the field even longer, you can pay for one year extension. So you can really keep it in the field for ten years. So I'm assuming that the uh, Zebra Mobility DNA suite of Android applications would run perfectly on this device. Yeah. So this supports all the Mobility DNA um, tools that we've uh, presented in over the last couple of years, and that's another you know advantage over the MC32, which was limited in that way. So it supports all the you know, mobility DNA tools, including the lifeguard, as I mentioned, stage now, and, and everything else that you come to expect from Zebra. And final question, Dan, from your opinion, where do you see this MC3300 being used out in the marketplace? What kind of industries? Right, so there's probably two main industries, I would say. Um, retail, you know, MC32 is in a lot of retail spaces for stock take and whatnot, but also in the warehouse. So, you know, the warehouse traditionally um, is have a lot of Telnet sessions, so getting them, as we said, getting them from old green screens um, onto a new device with the green screen is step one, but then really on top of that with our all-touch TE mobility DNA tool, they at some stage in the future they can change the entire interface to be a completely GUI interface. So, um, and it really fits into a, a space in the, in the warehouse market in that mid-tier, so, and it can also it completes our Android story in the warehouse because we have all-touch devices, wearable devices, we have a brand new fork Android device and a, and a keyboard device now. So it really completes the, the portfolio for warehousing. 
Well, it really sounds like the MC3300 is the perfect device for those people looking to migrate to Android. Dan, thanks for joining us. If you've got any questions, of course, go to zebra.com. You can find out more information there or contact your local Zebra partner.